Tobacco Israel is about to become the number one medical cannabis exporter in the world. This could inhale up to $4 billion into the Israeli economy. Here's more. A high security facility, infrared light cameras. Welcome to the Fort Knox of green gold. Yes, we're talking about gold. Tikkun Olam is the first Israeli medical cannabis supplier and was legally established 10 years ago. It produces five tons of cannabis per year and could soon become the biggest cultivation facility of the country dedicated to the export of cannabis. We are enlarging our greenhouse services and establishing new agricultural sectors to increase our exporting capacity. A commission established under the guidance of the Finance and Health Ministries recently recommended the Israeli government give its green light to cannabis export. For the state of Israel, it's a very profitable market, which is booming. It's, quote, more than 4 billion shekels a year, according to the commission, which is basically over $1 billion in a global market that could exceed over $50 billion. The project of this interdepartmental commission is to transform the startup nation into a cannabis startup by normalizing its culture, production, packing, and storage. In this greenhouse, transplants are taken off queen mothers to create new varieties that will then be analyzed to identify the several active components. The Interdepartmental Commission considers Israel the cannabis promised land and stresses the benefits that Israel has over other countries, which are not only a favorable climate, a high level in research and development, but also more permissive rules. Nowadays, around 30,000 people who have cancer, epilepsy, autism, post-traumatic stress disorder, or chronic intestinal diseases ingest cannabis, whether it is in joints, pills, or oils. This high demand from patients and from the users who appreciate the help that cannabis offers and who want to consume it legally has a significant effect. Plus, this is very Israeli. People like to think off the beaten track to try what seems to be impossible and to test what the law forbids if there are enough positive signals on the field. Timna Naftali will soon publish the results of two studies she led about cannabis properties on patients who suffer from Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. She compared the results she obtained on two groups of patients. Cannabis was prescribed to the first group, whereas the second one ingested a placebo. Here is a before and after result of a two-month treatment with cannabis on a patient suffering from colitis. No other country in the world authorizes scientific clinical tests of cannabis. Currently, eight cannabis farms exist. More than 5,000 producers asked to get a farming license. The export recommendation is also supported by the agriculture, trade, industry and justice ministries. The decision from the government takes time because of the domestic security ministry, but I hope they will authorize exportation in the coming months, particularly as the world is opening up to importation. It's now or never. The doors to export made in Israel medical cannabis will be open for countries that will legalize the import of cannabis. For now, it's just a matter of coordination.